Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see this sum. We'll copy this diagram. So first we'll draw 70. See we need to draw two circle of diameter 50 and 70 at a distance of 70. So first I will mark 70. This is point A and B. Then from point A I will draw radius 25 that is diameter 50 and from B I will draw radius 35 that is diameter 70. After that we need to draw now radius 25. So first we will draw axis line. And now we need to draw radius 25. Now if you see this radius 25 is external. Now what do you mean by external? Let's say if you have two circles and third circle is touching like this. So it will look like Mickey Mouse. See this. So if I name the center, see this. If I remove this lower part then it is like our answer. So this is point A, this is point B and the center of this circle is C. So what will be the distance from A to C and B to C? This is radius 10, 15 and this is 20. So distance from A to B would be how much? 10 plus 20, 30. Distance from B to C would be how much? 15 plus 20 that is 35. So that way we can find the center of this arc. Now from here if I want to draw see from a let's take this point as c so a to c would be how much 25 plus 25 and from b i will cut 35 plus 25 because radius is 35 and what we need to draw 25 so 50 and 60 so from a i will take 50 and i will cut an arc and i will cut on both the sides up and down both So this is radius 50 and from B I will take 60. So I'll get the required point. Point from where we can draw R. Let's take this point as C. Now if I want to be very accurate then what I will do? I can take radius 25 and draw but there is one more method. What you do? You join C to A and B to C. So you'll get the exact point from where your start, uh, where your arc is going to start. See this. This is how you'll get exact point. Same on the upper side. From C. Even if you don't draw this line, that is fine. You can take radius, uh, radius 25 and you can draw. But I'm saying if you want to be very, very accurate, then you can draw this. Otherwise, radius 25 direct will also be fine. But at times, there will be slight minute error so that you can rectify with this method. So I hope everyone understood how to draw this external radius. Remember, in external radius, we need to add. Now, we'll do dimensioning. Thank you.